Hello, hello, old Twit Talks cars. Hope you're well. It's been a while. Um, sorry, I'm bending down on this. It's not going to do my back any good. It's just as usual. I bought the wrong kit, and I've got my short tripod. So let's see how it goes. Actually, I might be able to sit on there. Oh, just about. Ah, anyway, hope you're well. Um, today, I'm just going to take the Series Three out for a little tiny run down the back alley here. She's been off the road for. A for about a year, she's been sawn for a year, um, and she's had a new wing and a few bits and pieces, but nothing very dramatic. Um, and we started her for the first time the other day, or I tried and failed, and then my number one son sorted it out for me. Um, so she goes for an MOT on Monday, and today is Saturday. So I thought before I drive it to the MOT centre, which is only about half a mile away, I thought I'd try it down the back alley, make sure we've got brakes, um, clutch, all those good things. Maybe she doesn't overheat. I think she'll be good. I think everything will go well, but we're going to give it a try. So I thought I'd invite you along. It will be a short five minute uh, little little stroll down the lane. And then if I get her through her MOT, I think I'll do a proper test on it and I think I want to share with you what it's like. Is it possible, for example, to use a th Series 3 1983 Land Rover as a daily driver? So I thought that might be a good topic. Anyway, without further ado, let's get her started and see if she rolls. Better take the Peugeot seats off the roof, I suppose. Ooh, that would help. And likewise, the big box. <laughs> well, having confidently said she'll start, let's hope she does. Look at that. Look at that beauty, she can't wait to get going. She genuinely can't wait. Here we go, first turn of a wheel for a year. Look at that, I can't wait to get going. What a beauty, absolutely stinks in here. First time this has been empty for a year or so. Okay, off we go. 
I can't turn around down here, I'm afraid. Mind now, push! It's quite hard to keep in a straight line. I've never been the most precise steering on the Series 3. Try the brakes again. You ever get that? You've got one of these. You get that horrible feeling where you put it in gear and you let the clutch out and nothing happens. It's because your low range reg knob isn't engaged, so to speak. As always, gives me a nervous moment or two. Somewhere I show you. This is always a fun game. In the Land Rover, back in the garage with the power steering and a lock machine and an oil tanker. Oh my god, could that be an aneurysm? Sticking out the side here. Yeah, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. I love you. So, for the next little challenge is to see if she passes her MOT. Stay tuned, folks. Nice to see you. See you soon. Just as a little postscript, if you ever want to disable someone's series Land Rover, it's just a case of taking that lead, you see the one I've got there, the yellowy one, off the coil. Because when we were trying to get it started, when Big Ted had put the wing back on, I think he'd accidentally pulled that lead off. Um, and that had the effect, that tiny very thin bit of wire had the effect of stopping her getting any spark at all um, which is always fun uh, the other thing to, just to watch is when you put it back on uh, like I did uh, make sure the ignition's off because 
it makes a lot of sparks and a bang and it gives you a headache that lasts about three days. Anyway, it got my heart back in rhythm, that's the main thing. So uh, stay safe, watch out for MOT antics. Uh, catch you soon.